Yo, what up world? Welcome back to another beat make video. Today I'm gonna be doing like a, I think I'm just gonna be making like a super simple trap beat, really more directed towards like the beginner, someone who just got out the studio and wants to start learning how to make uh, trap beats. Um, this video will be for you. Hopefully you'll learn something or get something out of it. And uh, if you like these types of video, uh, these types of videos, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, I try to put out a few beat making videos a week and uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Oh, and I will be dropping the FOP in the description below so you can open this up. Um, do whatever you want with it, basically mix it, rearrange it, add stuff to it, whatever really. It's yours to do what you want. And uh, I'm gonna erase the tempo here to 145. And we're gonna open up Flex. I'm gonna grab like a bell sound. You hear bells in trap all the time. And there's a really nice bell in this uh, pack, the Saif Samir Synthwave. If you don't have it downloaded, it should be under the four download and it is free. So definitely uh, give that a download. And I'm just gonna use the analog bells, put a little cutoff on that and uh, go into the piano roll. So we'll be writing a really simple melody um, Trap music deals a lot with half steps. Um, if you don't know what a half step is, it's kind of getting into a little more music theory. Um, but it's just basically what gives trap that like tension, that like almost horror feel. Uh, so we're gonna be starting on an A sharp. Let me lower it because I know it's gonna be mad loud. Mad loud. So we're gonna start on the A sharp, then we're gonna go to a B. And then we're gonna drop down to an F sharp. And then we're gonna go to an F. And so it's just a four note, really simple melody. All right, so we're gonna paste that and drag it and paste it two more times. And then for the turnaround on the uh, last bar here, we're gonna go down to a C sharp then up to an F, and up to an A sharp, then back to an F. So that whole thing should sound like this. Okay, cool. But it definitely needs a little more like, I don't know, just a little more life. So I'm going to open up Citrus and we're gonna go into the presets. I'm just gonna grab a piano. I'm just gonna grab a grand piano, keep it simple. And we're just gonna control A to highlight everything. Control C to copy all those notes. And we're gonna go into the Citrus grand piano and just paste that, all that MIDI into, into the Citrus. And now we have two uh, two different instruments playing the same exact thing. And we're gonna put that in the mixer, track one and two. And I'm just gonna pan it slightly left and right. And this is gonna widen out the sound um, quite a bit. I'm gonna lower the piano a little bit because I know it's a little more heavy on the attack. And Cool, so yeah, it definitely sounds a little more wider. Um, but this is a little more advanced, but I think it's worth it. Um, we're gonna route the Flex and the Citrus into a third track. We'll just name this Verb Bus. And we'll color that pink. We'll put a Fruity Reverb on that. So we're gonna take the dry all the way down. We're gonna put the wet all the way up. Put a little low cut on that because we don't want that muddy low reverb. Raise the room a bit, a little bit of decay. Change the diffusion so it's not so much. Let me lower that a bit. So now both the, the bell from Flex and the piano from Citrus are gonna share the same reverb. And to me, that just sounds a lot more cleaner. 
So we'll give that a listen. <laughs> So yeah, I just think that sounds a lot better, but still needs some work. I think we can put a little more cutoff on those bells. It is a bit bright for trap music and the piano. We'll just put a low pass on that and also take out a lot of those highs. <laughs> That's a bit darker, a little more appropriate for the genre that we are going for. So now I'm going to open up Flex and we're going to write out our 808 pattern. So I'm going to be using mobile tuned 808s and I'm going to use 808 punched. And let's just name this 808. All right, so I'm going to write out our 808 pattern in a, I'm going to put it in a high octave just so I can hear the notes um, a little better. I already kind of have the kick line in my head, um, but I kind of want to hear everything. So uh, we're going to write it out in a higher octave. So it might sound a little goofy at first, but once we bring it down to a lower octave, it's definitely going to have that punch that we're looking for. So that's our kick line, like I said. Sounds super goofy in the high octave, but once we bring it down to octaves. Definitely sounds a lot better. Um, I'm going to add some drive to that. Some crush and saturation. And we're going to open up the envelope just a bit, the release. Okay, I think I can drop the volume on these on the lead a bit. Okay, so let's get a kick. I'm going to go into the kick envelope and just shorten it a bit. This is also a low cut um, filter. And I'm basically just gonna line up the kick with the 808. <clears throat> we'll probably add some double kicks once this is done, just to give it a little more bounce. I would definitely recommend um, changing up the kick pattern, you know, at least two, maybe three more times throughout the song. So it's not exactly the same, but just in the interest of time, we're not going to do that here. Um, but that's why I'm giving out the FLP so you can kind of experiment with that at home. Uh, and what do I want next? Okay, so we want to clap, a snare and a clap. So I'm just going to grab the 808 snare. We're going to put it on the 3 and the 7. I'm going to go on the piano roll. I'm just going to highlight those first two bars. Control B, and I'll just paste it on the next two bars. 
and I kind of want like a like a white noise uh, sounding clap uh, to layer the snare with. Yeah, so I definitely like that. It has that like, has that, like white noise sound that I think sounds pretty cool. Right. So I'm gonna take this a little bit off the grid. So basically I'm just hitting the 808 snare sample and going into the wrench tool. And we're just gonna use this little shift knob here and that's gonna slightly take it off the grid. And uh, just so the two claps don't hit at the same exact time, um, just kind of makes it sound a little bigger. <laughs> the way that sounds. I want to put both of the uh, claps in the same mixer channel. do is add the hi-hat just gonna hit fill each two steps and we're gonna go into the piano roll and kind of just get a feel like of where we want the rolls to be so I know right off the bat that a lot of people like to do this <laughs> It's also really popular, um, really common, I should say, to put the roll, a, a roll right before the clap hits. So we can kind of do that, just pitch it down a little bit. But I don't want to do that every time because that sounds a bit repetitive. So we can do another roll here and make it a little glitchy. like low pitched hi-hats um, just kind of on the offbeat it gives it like a nice little bounce nice little bounce <laughs> thing I want to add is just kind of like a pad um, no. yeah I guess I'll just use strings all strings slow yeah I mean this is gonna be like really um, far back in the mix but it's just kind of kind of gonna give it like a floor I don't think I'm even gonna change the note. Might just have something like that.
so that's about it for this one just a really simple uh four bar loop but um i definitely want you to, if you're new to this i definitely want you to download this um open it up experiment experiment with it um mix it you know whatever um maybe add something for the hook change the kick pattern up um just whatever really uh but yeah thanks for watching peace